my camera man. Just wait if you're going to have a problem. Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Don't Kill Eli. I'm Eli and this is a show where your votes send me around the world. Your first vote sent me here to Beirut. We're here to check it out. As you just saw, we got off to a crazy start. We're going to have more on that later. We took off from JFK Thursday night. We had an eight hour layover in Moscow. That was rough, but we made it. And I want to catch you up on how we got here and what we have so far. What's up everybody? We're finally on our way to the airport. We have a nine hour flight that stops in Moscow and then we have a four hour flight or four hour flight. We have another long flight to Beirut. Doing it. Doing it. Bye America. Have fun calling your loved ones whenever you want. We're going to space. Woo! Eli is having major trouble getting into the sea. I'm gonna get this stuff out. There's uh, 1,000 magazines. Yeah. Moscow. Uh, Privet, y'all. I grew up on the plane. <laughs> we just took the most uncomfortable nap I've ever had in my life. I can't unhunch my shoulders right now. At this point, I'm gonna buy a couch at Duty Free. <laughs> survived the layover and boarded our plane. We said goodbye to Moscow and four hours later, we landed in Beirut. Hey, I'm Eli from Don't Kill Eli. Uh, I gave you guys a vote of West Africa, South America, India, or Beirut. And here we are, it's Beirut. Let's see what happens. Our first adventure in Beirut was down south to the Hippodrome in Hezbollah territory for some horse races. Almost immediately, a soldier with a machine gun told Mike that if he took his camera out, he'd arrest us both. So Mike secretly shot with his iPhone. Oh, you speak English? Yeah. What number? Who should I bet on? What what, number? What Who's going to win? Who's going to win? I don't yeah. know if I, I know. Oh, you don't know? One over one. One over one? Yeah. I just have 5,000. Can I do one, it? One, one. one. Play one. Play one. Play one? Play one. Play one. But I know nothing about horse racing. Yeah, it's first time. Oh, it's your first time? Why am I listening to you? 5,000, you will get 6,000 only. Or 5,000. So number three? Oh, shit. And I just bet all our Kickstarter money, so if we win, um, five-star resorts. If we lose, um, we have to get jobs. You said number three or number one? Number one. <laughs> Come on, number one! Come on, number one! Oh, no, 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 no! Five, right? Number five. Number five. There's number one. That's your number one right there. You see that? You see it? That's what you wanted me to bet on. So as you guys can see, we've had a great three days. At the top of the episode, you saw us interacting with drunk Eric. It's not uncommon in, in Beirut to share cabs. As soon as we got in the cab, it seemed like he got a lot drunker and a lot crazier. When he started Nazi saluting and singing Deutschland über alles, that was when I nudged Mike to get him to turn on the GoPro. rest of the ride, Eric would not give us our camera back. We had to get our camera back. I wasn't gonna try and wrestle it from him while we were driving. I didn't want a cab driver to get mad and kick us out in the middle of nowhere. Mike offered to show him how to delete it and grab the camera from him. Mike and I had both uh, agreed that, uh, somebody's coming right now. Uh, sorry, we just got stopped by Lebanese Army. I'm gonna try and power through this before he comes back with his buddy. So long story short, Eric tried to force his way into the apartment. Uh, I thought we were gonna have to get physical. He told us that we weren't gonna get out of the city alive. He threatened to come back with his Hezbollah friends. We knew he was bluffing. His cab driver wanted him to leave. Everybody wanted him to leave. 
Uh, that's when I realized all we had to do is turn the camera back on him to get him to go. Don't touch me. I'm not handing this to you. Okay, so I'll just record it on my iPhone then. Okay. Hey, phone too. Hey. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Okay. We'll be back tomorrow. There you have it, folks. That's our first episode. Uh, we kept an eye out, and thankfully, Eric did not come back with his Hezbollah army. This trip is off to a great start, and we have some fantastic things lined up for the rest of our time here in Lebanon. But we gotta buy some tickets out of here, and where we go is up to you. Number one, Jordan. We can camp out under the stars with the Bedouins, uh, check out the temple from Indiana Jones, and go floating in the Dead Sea. Number two, Egypt. Pyramids, Sphinx, Tahrir Square, a government that resigned two weeks ago. Number three, Oman. It's a little country south of UAE and Saudi Arabia. I think they have camel racing. And there's also a flight that has a 27 hour layover in Bahrain. So it'd be a twofer, we can stop there too. So there you have it, those are your choices. In a second, we're gonna put those links up right here on the screen. Or if you're watching on a mobile device, they'll be right down below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. It's just Eli Newell and Mike Carnell. We'll put that down below too. So now it's time to vote. Mike, uh, didn't you have something special for him? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Ferris wheel footage. Okay, we're gonna put the links over us on a Ferris wheel. Enjoy. We've been on this for like 20 minutes. The dude just straight up walked away. I don't know where he is, and it goes too fast at the bottom for us to hop off. Now we're stopped. So I think we're gonna shoot all of the show here from the top of a Ferris wheel. I'm Eli, signing off.